Hi everyone! Today we're going to create a natural science scratch project to study the changes of state in matter. As you can see, there is a circle. It can be red or blue. If the red circle touches the object, the temperature of the object increases. And if the blue circle touches it, the temperature decreases. In addition, the state of the object changes according to the temperature. You will see that this is a very easy project. I'm going to teach you the basics. But at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some proposals, some things that I have done to improve and make this project more attractive and more interesting. So if you are ready, let's get started. First of all, I have opened Pixabay and I have looked for three images, but they have to be vectors. Well, if you're working in English, probably you will see this. So vector graphics, ice for example, and I have downloaded this ice block or ice cube and the same with a water drop and with clouds. Once you have them ready, you go back to scratch, you remove the cat and we upload a sprite, any of them, for example the water drop. Now I go to costumes and in costumes I'm going to upload the other two, so the ice and the cloud. Once I have these three, I'm going to create the, the circle. So in this case, we paint and in Sprite, we take a circle, press and shift. I make a perfect circle and please make sure you center it because if you put the circle here, you will have some problems later, okay? So make sure you center it and now let's change color to blue. Let's call it blue and now right click duplicate and this one is gonna be red so let's select it make it red and change the name so this is the circle and this is the water all right first of all I'm gonna go to the circle and in code I'm gonna make the circle follow my mouse pointer which is super simple in events when green flag clicked forever go to mouse pointer and if I press on green flag you see that it goes to mouse pointer if you want it to be in front of the of the ice cube you have to go to uh, looks and uh, here you select go to front layer and now you see it is in the front all right um, now I need to change the color of it when I click so it's super simple when this sprite clicked next costume and now when I click it is blue now it is red okay so now I'm gonna go to water and I'm going to create a variable which is gonna be called temperature and in this case we can put that this is for this sprite only so here we have water temperature and let's start uh, coding we're gonna need a lot of conditions to call the water okay so when green flag clicked forever and let's add two conditions for the moment later on we will need three more we're gonna put that if the if this object is touching red color this color okay if touching red color we're going to increase the temperature so if touching and now let's use this tool to select exactly that red we're going to increase the temperature which is change temperature by one and likewise we're going to change the temperature by negative one we're going to decrease the temperature when touching blue color so if touching blue color and wait I have to change it if touching blue color we are going to change temperature by negative one. Let's see if it works. When touching this, temperature decreases. If it is red, temperature increases. So that works. But as you see, it doesn't change its state. So that's something we have to code now. We need three more conditions. One for each uh, type of state, okay, for each state. Let's begin with these here once and then we will continue with the more with the most complicated. So 
Uh, first of all, if temperature is greater than 100, so we express that using this, if temperature is greater than 100, we are going to switch costume to uh, cloud. If temperature is lower than 0 degrees centigrade, we express it that way, if temperature is lower than 0, we're gonna switch costume to ice. So this is well coded, but now we need to uh, switch costume to liquid if the temperature is between 0 and 100. How do we express that in Scratch? That's basically the problem. Okay, saying that the temperature is between 0 and 100 is the same as saying that the temperature is greater than 0 and the temperature is lower than 100. So, I can use this type of operator to add both conditions. If temperature is greater than 0 and temperature is lower than 100, in this case, if both conditions are happening at the moment, we are going to switch costume to the water drop. Let's see if it works. Well, uh, there's something we can add at the beginning of the program, but uh, outside this forever loop, we can set temperature to a normal temperature, a standard temperature, which could be 20. So let's see. Green flag, as you see it is a water drop because temperature is 20. Let's select the blue circle, so temperature should decrease, and it does. And if it is lower than zero, it should be ice. And it is, okay? Now I'm gonna heat it up. When it's over zero degrees, it, it should go back to its liquid state, and it does. And now let's continue heating it up. And now it's a cloud. So as you see, this program works perfectly. And now as promised, I'm gonna show you some kind of proposals, some kinds of improvements that you can use to make your projects better, okay? One idea could be this. In this case, we have different backdrops. We have a character here that is gonna speak. And look, uh, when temperature is 20, we are underwater. This, this, this is the water drop. And uh, Abby says that that's a liquid. If I cool it down, now the backdrop uh, switches, obviously the, the object switches as well, and now it says, uh, well, she says that that's a solid. I'm gonna heat it up, again, underwater, and we have a water drop, and she says that that's a liquid. I'm gonna heat it up some more, and when we are over 100, we're in the desert, this is a cloud, and she says that's a gas. So that's one idea. Another idea. Uh, you can add some more objects. For example, this is gold and this is water. We have gold temperature and water temperature. So we can modify both of them. To do this, you need to search the internet for the gold boiling and melting points. So, uh, well, this one works as you've seen before. Okay, well, in this case, you see the... I haven't sent to the front layer this circle, but it doesn't matter. But here, when I touch it, Temperature increases very fast. Why? Because instead of changing temperature by 1, I'm changing temperature by 10. Because I need to be fast, because uh, its, its melting point is over 1000, and its boiling point is over uh, 2000. So if I go one by one, it would take forever, okay? So as you see, now it's a liquid, so I have melted the gold, and if I continue, when I am over 2700 it is a gas okay so that's another idea and the third idea uh, is very related to the other video that we that we saw which is about creating a, an interactive presentation a powerpoint like presentation in scratch i leave the link here just in case you haven't watched that video because i think that that's quite relevant 
So in this case, I have organized these two uh, forms of matter. If I click on gold, I have this, this golden object, okay? And it works as you've seen before. When I touch the arrow with this circle, I go back and I click on water and water works as the other, as in the other projects, okay? So these are my ideas, guys. Use your creativity to make them better, to to do whatever you want. Share the project with, with me as you usually do, because I love seeing your, your interesting ideas, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.